we walked into Independence Hall and we had a lady talking to us. She told us that wars usually end for most countries. For the Israelis, the war has never ended. I got it. I got it. I understood what the Middle East was all about. It wasn't on TV. I was standing there in Independence Hall and I got it. I got involved with People to People in 1970. It is part vacation, part cultural, part professional. It's different than going on a tour. It's interactive. You go to the greatest places in the world. You get to meet the highest level of officials, people in your profession or occupation. I started with People to People after I had achieved a certain amount of success in my career. And a lot of our delegates are like that. They were looking for a new adventure. They were looking to expand their career a little bit. And they were looking to go for a trip. They were looking to have fun. You know, when I went to India, I didn't know what to expect. We were welcomed with open arms. Not only did we meet with, with uh, the Speaker of Parliament, we got to meet with the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. That is the access that people to people gets for its delegations. I went to Cuba in 2000. We got to meet with the leaders of the Cuban government. Some of the people we met are actually running buddies with Fidel Castro. To get that understanding and get that feeling, you have to be there. See, we go as ambassadors. We have a responsibility to our country because we're representing America. We have a responsibility to people to people, and you have a responsibility to your profession. You know, there's a lot of great, great things, great times that, that we all remember. Because it's adventurous, uh, we see places we've never seen before. The delegation bonds together. Every time we see each other, we laugh about how we almost got charged by an elephant in South Africa. People to people gives you that unique opportunity. An individual is never the same after they've gone to a people to people trip. But you'll learn as you travel that people are the same everywhere. People want the same things. They want peace. And as you learn that about other countries, the world becomes smaller.